This is my third review of the Brinkman Trailmaster Vertical Smoker. As you can see, I have the smoker going right now. I have a brisket in there. It's just a flat brisket, about two and a half pounds, very small for a smoker this size. After it cools down a little bit, I'm going to do some jerky in there as well. Uh, so I just wanted to go over my experience so far. I'm at about the two hour mark right now, and uh, I'm expecting this to take about four or five hours for the brisket to fully smoke and cook. Uh, a couple things that I'm going to give you background on I'm using uh, Royal Oak uh, hardwood lump charcoal. And the only reason I'm using that is I, I did want to try to use lump charcoal instead of just using briquettes for the first time. And I'm also using uh, some oak chips that I've soaked. Uh, those are actually pieces of oak wine barrel that I drilled out for making planters. So I've had that wood around for a while, but it's good solid oak and it should have a nice flavor. So you can see the barbecue is smoking up really well right now. Um, I did want to echo something that I'd seen in some other reviews of similar Brakeman smokers on YouTube. And that's, let me bring you up close right here. The top of the door does seem to be letting a lot of smoke out. And what I've seen from other people that have modded their Brinkman smokers, let me see if I can get you a better side angle view here. You can see the smoke. Is that once they were, once they fixed that, once they were able to put some tape around there, the smoker worked much better. I'm also seeing a little bit of smoke coming out the back of the top. That's a little more disturbing. So you can even see some moisture that's accumulated over here because uh, I do have water in the, the water pit on the smoker. That's a little disturbing. It would have been nice if that was a little better sealed. Uh, but in general, uh, it seems to be smoking up very well. Like I said, I had the, the wet wood chips in there right now. And those usually do produce a lot of smoke, really smoldering. Um, so that part is working really well. I'm really getting a lot of good smoke. Temperature has been pretty low the whole time, at least according to this external thermometer. I haven't got an internal thermometer working yet. I'm going to pick one up uh, because I think you really need to have one with a smoker. But um, it's really been under 200 the whole time, which according to this thermometer at least is good smoking temperature. According to what I've read online, 225 is a good number for brisket. So I'm actually running right now at 175 because I just opened up the smoker and put in uh, new bri briquettes at the two hour mark and added some more chips but it's been running over around 200 hopefully that'll be okay uh, at some point I might want to see if I can get it running a little hotter but uh, uh, you know right now I'm, I'm pretty happy with the smoke level so I don't not worry too much about the heat it would just hopefully just extend the time a little bit if I have it running low and slow anyway that's all for now I uh, just wanted to reflect my initial use I'm going to buy some uh, heat proof tape and run that around the edges and I'll take another video when I do finish that up because uh, I think that will help uh, contain the smoke a little bit better and the heat. Um, so we'll see how that works out. I'll see if there's anything I can do. Um, on another one of the videos, someone actually caulked around the edges with some silicon heat proof caulk. I might have to do that around the top. Like I said, I could see some, some air leaking and some smoke leaking out of there. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you.